So today Apple released iOS 11 beta 2. I actually called that this would be coming out today, yesterday. I had a weird feeling that Apple would release a beta uh, sometime this week and here we go, we got it on a Wednesday. So possibly this may be hinting at a new release cycle coming out maybe every two weeks on Wednesdays uh, for new iOS betas, but we can't really be for sure about this. Uh, so yeah, they released it at kind of a weird time. They didn't release it at the regular 10 a.m. time and it's on a Wednesday, so kind of unexpected here, but iOS 11 beta 2 is here and there are a few new things in the beta. So the first thing I'm noticing is speed. This thing is way faster. Uh, I'm just noticing that um, my iPhone feels way smoother and way faster here on iOS 11 beta 2. Um, that's to be expected, but this change from beta 1 to beta 2 is drastic. It is no longer buggy, it is no longer stuttering, it is no longer glitchy. It is very fast. Like when I jump into multitasking, you can see how quick that is into control center, uh, just swiping, everything is so smooth and it feels a lot better on beta 2, which is really good. So a couple new things that Apple added, if we go into settings here, uh, the first thing they added is do not disturb while driving is now enabled. So as soon as the iPhone is detecting that you're driving and then you finish that first drive, it is going to ask you if you want to turn on do not disturb while driving and you can turn on a auto reply if someone texts you uh, to have this automatically send to someone when you're driving uh, just to keep your eyes on the road. So very good. Uh, if we go into settings once more and we go into settings for control center, uh, the control center settings have been tweaked now. You have to hit on customize controls and then you can change all these controls. And I think uh, some of these icons changed, including do not disturb while driving, which is a new toggle here in control center. Uh, also in settings, if we go into Safari, kind of hidden here, and then scroll all the way down to advanced, we have experimental features. Now these are just some uh, developer options that you can turn on for Safari. I don't really know what any of these mean, uh, but just some cool experimental features for developers uh, inside Safari. Uh, one major uh, design change in the messages application is the new message effect uh, that has been added has changed color. So if I send myself a message and choose full screen effect, you can see here this, this new echo effect now sends in orange bubbles instead of blue. And then when you send it here, um, you can see the original message stays blue, but then the other bubbles stay in orange. Um, don't know why that happens. And now when I replay it to myself, it plays in white. So kind of cool here, kind of distinguishes the actual message that's in your thread uh, from the message effect. So I'll show you that one more time. Screen and then send with echo. And then you can see there it's orange. Uh, looks kind of cool here on my iPhone. I really like how Apple uh, keeps adding more effects in messages. Uh, guys, that's pretty much it. I checked for uh, new wallpapers, I checked for other big new features, but it didn't look like Apple added much. Uh, one very small thing here is in Control Center, if you're not playing any media, uh, now in Control Center this media tab just shows that uh, what you were playing before uh, was music, but since you're not playing anything now, it just shows iPhone and music. So it shows the source of the, of the audio and then it shows what app you're using to play it if you're not playing uh, music at that time. So guys, that is iOS 11 beta 2, uh, a pretty major upgrade in regards to speed. I hope battery life is a lot better because on beta 1, battery was absolute garbage. Uh, I'll let you know in a video in a couple days from here. Let me know if you want to see that uh, just so I can tell you how battery life is on beta 2. Uh, all right, guys, that does it for me in this video. Drop a like down below. Tell me in the comments uh, your favorite feature of iOS 11 and uh, if you like what Apple added in beta 2. All right, thank you for watching. My name is Mike, and I'll see you in the next one.